Am I am I properly no. alone? My brother is the greatest person to ever be seen. I'll call him a crowd puller. He used to run every time outside during break time. When he was in P4, he was already representing Honorable Mama and Baba's in Temangal Saga. Graduated, you did it. You made it. Congratulations to you. And you did it all by yourselves. Nobody helped you. No, that's not. That's what you know. That's what I thought. Well, I have traveled the world, and I have spoke to millions of people. But that's not the most important thing. The success that I had. The most important thing is that I've kept God in my life and has kept me humble. I didn't always stick with Him, but He always stuck with me. So stick with them in everything you do. Research indicates that learning starts as early as eight months while in the womb and continues right from birth as babies achieve their developmental milestones, which for Conrad, he exceptionally excelled at. Conrad as a boy, he was born on 15th September 1997. He joined nursery school at uh, two and a half years. As a child, when he was growing, his milestones came pretty fast. If they tell you that a child is supposed to grow at this stage, Conrad would do it like either a month or two months earlier. At the time when he was growing up, we had some other children at, at home. Now, these children went to school, and he also admired going to school, so he would pick a bag, put it on his bag, and go. And at the time, we lived in a home where the gate was the louvre type, so he could sneak in between. Ask him, where have you been? I'm going to school. So, and that was two years. And then we are like, now someone is two years, and he wants to go to school. Conrad is an intelligent boy, hardworking, and precise. He is a self-driven, motivated, and principled gentleman. Conrad is nice, kind, and caring, and loving. He's very focused. He's a humble and down-to-earth person. Conrad, if he was a politician, I would call him a crowd puller. He was resilient. He sat next to me in class, he made sure I talk, he gave me, he had the funniest tea or gossip, I would say. Uh, Conrad in three words, ambitious, uh, luxurious, and uh, caring. Don't see Conrad now and say that he's smart because of campus, because of smart. Conrad was smart even in the nursery school, he was very sharp, brilliant and very inquisitive, he would ask you questions. Whenever he has failed to get something in a class, in a general class, he will follow you after the lesson and say, but teacher here, I didn't get it well. For me, the word that stands out each time I think of Conrad is discipline. He's extremely dis disciplined, extremely humble, and mature beyond his years. For example, you remember when you finished P7, and when you went to to US for holidays with your father, and you asked me for the size, of my shoes, and you brought for me shoes at that age, it's really a very, very humbling situation. Conrad is not a funny guy, so there are no funny stories, but uh, what I can say is that he's, he's, uh, he's one of the most authentic people you'll ever meet. You know, he's, he's quite, he's very straightforward, he's very real, he's very intentional. If he cares about you, you will know. If he doesn't care about you, you will know. Well, I remember uh, people used to call Conrad CJ, or they used to call him Conrad. Yeah, but I've never really understood why they used to call him Conrad, but at least I know CJ was because he was uh, Chief Justice while we were in school. At home, we used to call him Conrad because 
when the young brother was growing up, he used to call him Conrad because he could fail to pronounce the name Conrad. I think all I remember would be Flo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a nickname. It was his stage name. You know, he gave it to himself in his wannabe aspirations to be a rapper. Uh, but that didn't last very long. I used to call Conrad a running boy. Why? Because he used to run every time outside during break time, under the chairs, under the tables. And when the parents would come for him, he would be the first to pick his bag and run before anything, before even you are aware of that. I had given him a title. I used to make fun of I say, I would call him, yes, Justice. I gave him that title because he had told me, teacher, one day I will be the Chief Justice of Uganda said, wow, that's great. So that is a nickname I gave him. And I'm praying that one time will be the justice of the game. Nelson Mandela once said, there is no passion to be found playing small in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Passion drives success and Conrad's life's journey definitely attests to this. Conrad has always been passionate about a thing or two from football, business, and practicing law. It's no surprise that Conrad gets to see his lifelong ambition come to life. Like me, I do engineering work. My passion is to see my son also become an engineer or do technical things. True, he was very good in mathematics, but away when he was in P4, that's when he showed his passion to what he wants to do today. There's a transaction between NSSF and uh, Nzei and uh, Honorable uh, Mbabazi. Now, Conrad was performing well in the class. That time, he didn't do well. So, when I try to follow, the teacher tells me, it's good you have come. These exams, they do mid-terms and the end-of-month exams. He said, this boy, I don't know what's wrong with him. I found him in the class. He was already representing Honorable Mama Baba's in Temangal Saga in P4. Then he would come home and he would tell Mommy, today my client won, and he said, Which client said, Mama Baba's? We had a court session and I was counsel for Mama Baba's, and my client won. For the look of things in class, the way he used to argue, maybe in a particular topic, when you're teaching, you know, SST is more of politics, SST is more of morals. A system involves justice and so on. I, I came to know that Conrad was a very just man. There are cases when I used to punish him, that's the truth. I could punish him, he would come after. But teacher, you are very unfair to me. I say, why? Then he will give you reasons. And then I told him, Conrad, you look to be, in future, you will be a lawyer. And he, when I asked him, do you want to be a lawyer? He said, yes, I'm going to be a lawyer. Even during that time, when I was teaching him, I tried to interact with him of what would be his future career after finishing senior six. And this younger man told me that what he would only do at the university was law. After his O-level in SMAC, I was pursuing him to do sciences. He said, Daddy, that's for you, not for me. And he, out of his will, he said, I'm not going to continue with SMAC because I know in SMAC, they concentrate so much on science students. If I got a place in, Am in Amgongo, it will do for me well. They are good in that area I want. And now, graduation day. Just uttering those two words makes me emotional. As parents, we want our kids to realize their full potential and make a difference regardless of their career or your field of study. Conrad's achievement is so exciting and it is so refreshing to me as a teacher because I feel proud and when even they told me that he's going to graduate I was so excited. I'm extremely proud that um, he's, he's, you know, he's graduated from law school and I know he'll soon graduate from uh, the Law Development Center which means um, you know he has a whole vista of opportunities ahead of him. I'm going to speak to him and make sure that one of the things he does after this is pursue postgraduate studies because I think that there's an intellectual giant in him. What Conrad's achievement means to me, uh, I mean its significance will be represented in the fact that 
I might hire him. I might have to hire him anyway, because I mean he'll hold it against me if I choose someone else over him. He's a person who has really wanted to become a lawyer. I remember there's a time he said he wanted to be a lawyer and defend people. This is a major milestone because um, you know getting his law degree is obviously the beginning of, of what I think is a long and successful career. And mark my words, 20 years from now, maybe even before then, uh, we will be looking at a leader in his field, whether it's, 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 it's politics or law, he will be a leader. With the discipline, hard work and drive, Conrad has just the right set of principles to get him to where he wants to be. Many will agree that for Conrad, not even the sky is the limit. We can only wait for what the stars have aligned for this budding young lawyer. I want to congratulate you upon the completion of your studies. You have endured, but that is just the beginning. Work smart, stay humble, do everything that you're supposed to do in its rightful way, and the sky won't even be the limit for you. I wish you all the best. Well done, Conrad. It's been, uh, I think, a very nice four-year journey through law school. You are one of the people I think who has stayed strong, which means that you're actually made for this, and um, I'm happy for the journey you're taking. You know, we like to joke about this every day. We keep on saying this to each other every day, but the world is truly not ready for you and what you're about to become. Congratulations, uh, it's been a long four years. Welcome to the world after education. Let this first degree that you have attained not be the limit. You can still go for masters, go for PhD, and I will be proud of you to see you on TV being sworn in as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Uganda at one time. Congratulations, Conrad, upon this new journey in your life. Uh, you have worked hard for it from the very start when you first reported to Form 1. It was a long journey till Form 4, then Form 6, and now University. This is a big step in your life, and we are sure, and um, me as a person, I'm more than sure that you're going to make it as one of the great lawyers that we shall see in Uganda. I wish you nothing but the best. I thank you for being the brother you are to me, and I pray that everything works out for you in life. Uh, you're probably the humblest person I've ever known and I would encourage you to you know, stay that way. Keep the humility, keep the discipline, keep the focus, and I guarantee you, you are going places. Conrad, I'm going to encourage you to continue with um, the qualities you exhibited when we were in P7. One, being very just, always questioning cases, maybe stories to do with the unfairness in the society. You remember how you used to ask me those questions. Two, I want you to copy the example of your parents, very humble parents. I hope you'll continue with that legacy of your parents. I'm very proud with all your achievement. Above all, are friends you have and the friends you are working with. These are senior lawyers who are already practicing and they have happened to be your friend. I pray that you continue seeking advice from them for you to be a better person and continue respecting them because they are elder and I know with that you will achieve more. Your dad, your brothers and I, your uncles and aunties, your cousins, your grandparents, and your whole extended family and friends here could not possibly be any prouder of you than we are today. No matter where you go or how successful you become, never lose sight of yourself. Always be humble and remember your God. Just remember that the process of learning never ends. School may be over for a moment now, but Life's lessons are yet to be learned. Keep an open heart and mind. Always remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, but above all, loved than you ever know. As you go in the field of law, don't look at the money. Look at what you can give the people. The money will always come. 